But still, we'll get into the Pokedex. It is a draft horse, 8'2", 2,028.3 pounds. Mudsdale has so much stamina that it can carry over 10 tons across the Galar region without rest or sleep. Alright, so we got that taken care of. Let's go ahead and check out our newly acquired Clydesdale. Check summary. Ooh, he's a he's a hefty hitter. 92 attack, 106 HP. So that like that stomp, that high horsepower, that's gonna hurt a lot. And of course we need to heal up Ziggy because you can start keeps trying to play guitar and it's not working out for him so well. There we go. So now we can go up either one of these here. We're gonna sneak around this trainer for a couple of things. One. Fossilized fish, a fossil of an ancient Pokemon that once lived in the sea. What it looked like is a mystery. And we also pick ourselves up TM15 Dig. That'd be nice for like Clydesdale. User burrows into the ground and then attacks on next turn. When you're playing with Pokemon at camp, they sometimes get hungry. Make Curry and idiot with Pokemon and they'll be very happy. So let's make Curry together in my camp, shall we? Well, that's not what I came for. I came for... Name's Carolus. I am researching fossils. Huh. Fossils in Galar, Galar are broken in top halves and bottom halves for some reason. Huh. Strangely, no matter which top and bottom you combine, they can be restored together. Perhaps within this mystery lights is key to understanding these combinable Pokemon. Huh. And sadly, I currently do not have a combinable top and half. By the way, Ultra Ball, Dig, and Fossilized Fish. What has indeed can be added together is a mystery. But if we come down here. That's a duck trio. Trio, trio. Dig the dig, dig the dig, trio, trio, trio. Ooh, it's a level 31 Doug trio. We are going to go ahead and switch out for... No, we'll go ahead. Oh! Arena Trap! Dang it! The trio sometimes has an ability called Arena Trap, which prevents Pokemon from switching out. Though Night Slash should do us a, a good fair amount of damage. Just to check, make sure. At least no one's popped in watching that I've seen. There we go, Ziggy. Levels up. Level 30. Grub. Grub. <laughs> Look at that. Special attack boost. Got a light clay. Oh, if we beat that, we can get BP out of it. So if you see a glowing Pokemon on the overworld, it's not a shiny. It gives you... Uh, yeah. to Lanoon here. Is it 30? 35, okay. Um, well, it's a little stronger, too. It will, uh, give us some wonderful... Uh, battle, or not battle points, um, ooh. Um. 
whatever it is that we get out of the uh, the tunnels there. So there's that. We got that taken care of. Watts. There we go. 252 watts out of the deal. I mean, at this point, I should probably switch out Ziggy Star just because he is level 29. Or he's level 30. Coney's the other one that's not had a evolution yet. Sorry, I keep looking this up because I always forget just where Coney... How... How long it takes to evolve Kony? He is definitely an Unova Pokemon. Or Unova, or however you want to say it. Alright, just there we go. Vanillite. 35. We're going to be here for a little bit longer. That's okay. Oops. Uh, swap. We're going to go and swap in. Could have sworn it picked up an item as we swapped it there. Alright, let's go ahead and tackle this trainer here. I came from far away to watch the gym challenge. I love the opportunity to battle gym challenger. So let's go ahead and do so, shall we? Ooh, that was bright. Backpacker Diane sends out a sock. No, not a sock like I'm wearing on my feet, but a sock. Um, let's go ahead and try for Avalanche. Ow. <laughs> that was a one hit. Um, you know what? Let's go ahead and bring in Mr. Soap now that we can. Unlike last time when we couldn't bring him in. And just because we should, let's revive Kony. Low sweep should, one hit. Mr. Soap, but it does some damage in it. Lower, ooh, it lowers our speed. Uh, let's try a water pledge. Why did it use bulk up? I mean, bulk up's gonna increase its attack and defense. That's a critical hit. Water pulse. As we get kicked in the face. Ouch. Uh, I'm at a severe disadvantage here. I'm going to bring in the Clydesdale. And we're going to stop it. That little sweep is going to do us in. If we can connect with stop. That did nothing. I'm going to spend the turn reviving Mr. Soak. Double kicks. As long as it stays double... Do I have... I do have a Hyper Potion, but we are going to go ahead and use it in Clydesdale. Gonna hit us with another low sweep, which is going to hurt yet it's more. Dropping our speed still. High Swords Power, we'll try it. Will we get somewhat of a defensive turn here? Oh, we got it! Perfect! Everyone that was in battle gets to have the wonderful experience points. Mr. Soak is level 31. Kony is level 31. I'll take it for both of them. Diana is defeated. Muy dramatical. Fantastical! 2,232 gold. Poke dollars, whatever you want to call it. For winning that fight, I think I would... Nope, I was already up here. 
So I think we need to cross the grass and head up. And should heal Coney and Clydesdale. Okay, perfect. Oh, sparkly. Got rare bones, cool. A model who's also strong in battle, that's who I am. Alright, let's see just how strong you are, Nicola. Start out with a Skaroopy. Alright, check in just to see my stream health. That's pretty good, it hasn't dropped. Drop down no more than 27 frames. We'll say 25, 27 frames. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit an icy wind. She's also home plus. Okay. It's a nice move. I like that. But an icy wind is going to be in our favor. Excuse me. Speed fell. We're gonna hit it again. Another speed fall, and it's gonna hit us with Venishock. Which does more damage if your opponent is poisoned. So a good a really good combination would be toxic Venishock. Or Venoshock. Be a fan that's a fantastic battle combination. And Cody's making the uproar. We're going to send in Ponyard. Sure. Because I think we'll keep the uproar going. Yep. Metal Claw ends the uproar. And ends Coney, for that matter. Oof. Uh, let's go ahead and leave it. Let's go ahead and bring in Wyandak. First time he's seen battle all game. Or all stream, I should say. And we immediately incinerate the Ponyard. Bye bye. Wyadak is level 31. Nice. Even if I lose who I am, the charm of Pokemon will never fade. Got 3,600 Poke Dollars for winning. And first things first, since we need to revive our cone. And then give it a super potion. There. I said we got a rare, we got a couple of rare bones. We can sell them for money. We're to hurting for it. We'll come down this way because this is where we can access some of the items we hadn't been able to before. For example, there's a trainer over here. There's a berry tree. Let's try shaking it. Two citrus berries, two prism berries. Can we get lucky? No, we get attacked by a greedent, the evolved form of Squilbit. I can't remember if greedent is normal, pure normal or not. Not the tanky boy. It is a tanky boy. I'm gonna bring in that. Gonna bring in my Clyde still. It's got Rock Smash, so it'll do some damage, right? right, right, right. Green is gonna use Body Slam again. Stop jumping on my horse. Oh, that's a very tanky, tanky creature. And we're paralyzed. Great. Just great. I think it was calculating out who got to go first. But that's enough to take down the greeting. 
Clydesdale gets a level up. Very nice. Grop got a level up. And I hit. And we lost all the berries. Great. I gambled and I gambled incorrectly. So I have just a few paralyzed seals. Definitely need to level up my team a little bit. Not even just level up my team, but I gotta make sure my team is pretty strong. Are you making curry? Are you filling your curry decks? Nope, not really. Backpacker Ruth. Ruth has herself a throw. So we fought Sock earlier, now we've got a throw. Sock and throw. You know what, I'm gonna set up a hail. So at the very least, at least for a couple turns. Storm throw. We can do a little bit of damage on throw using hail. Uh, I don't have any flying type moves either. Bunch of nuggets. I'll send out Clydesdale. And during this turn, I'm going to go ahead and revive Tony. Circle throw. God, that's great. Uh, well, good night slash. Thank goodness we're faster than it. But. Oh, revenge, that's gonna hurt. Kills off Ziggy Star. Oh. I'm just having absolutely no luck here. Let's bring back Clydesdale in. We'll see if we can keep him in. High horsepower, at least. That's plus. Oh, revenge. Probably. Oh, I thought I was going to kill Clydesdale. Highest of horsepower again. Finishes it off. Uh, almost got somebody a level up. The strength of you and your Pokemon has made my mouth go numb. I'm not sure that's a good thing. Uh, yeah, gonna have to use a revive on Ziggy Star. And Super Potion, everybody. Well, if I come this way, I get Steel Wing. Too bad nobody... Wings of Steel. Problem is... If I get there, nobody has wings. So that doesn't work out in my favor. Let's see what. Oh, I probably ran into the. Uh... Oh, it's a silicobra! Okay! Okay, cool. Let's try and catch a silicobra. Be a nice addition. And a nice replacement should I need to uh, replace our wonderful little sand spit starts up a sandstorm. Okay. Good deal. 
And a headbutt on Coney. <laughs> I just threw a net net ball at a ground snake. And what's weird is that it got caught in the net ball. <laughs> Silly Cobra got caught in a net ball. Alright, out of this Pokedex, it's a Sand Snake, 7'3", 16.8 pounds. It spews sand from its nostrils while the enemy is blinded. It burrows into the ground to hide. Silicobra. I'm gonna name it Damien. I think it's A-N. Um, after the snake from... Uh, from Jake the Snake. Jake the Snake Roberts had a snake called Damien. I think he still uses a snake called Damien. Trainer tips, tentacle, okay, TMs we can use. So much we like TRs, not so much. Got a rare king, Andy. And we got ourselves a duck trio. Trio, trio! Sucker punch from the trio! Ooh, that hurt. But the icy wind should actually... In theory, help us out a little bit. Gonna use one of our very few remaining super potions on our... wonderful ice cream cone. Oh, you missed on the sucker punch. You know what? I wonder. Yep, sure enough, sucker punch. Ooh, critical hit. Ouch. But the avalanche, due to the nature of the avalanche, takes it out. Shell belt. Coney is level 32. Once learn acid armor, eh, we'll keep. And 31 for a Ziggy Star. Nice. Alright, so let's get out of here now. Now we picked up that rare candy. Up the stairs we go as soon as we get in the menu here. I'm not sure if that's a mime or a baker. Uh, either way, for right now, I'll leave Coney in. Oh, it's an artist! Pokemon is art too, if we both give it our all! Artist Duncan, and artist who? He is. He's kind of scary, but he's got a coughing. Sunlight is harsh, neutralizing gas. Fills the area. I'm gonna switch to a Clydesdale, if anything, just to have a nice, good, solid physical striker. Smoke screen. Takes it down. Um, do you have, are you using Levitate? Oh no, you just avoided it. Oh, because of smoke screen, that's right. Like, there's no way. <laughs> we'll try it again. Coughing avoided. Definitely lo loves to cause a smoke screen for sure. So, I'm just gonna stop it. We're gonna see. There we go. To keep stomping here. Smoke screen again. Yeah, stop. 
critical hit on the coughing. Down it goes. I'll take it, though. Critical hits are always good. And next up is Sudo Woodoo. Yes, I will gladly trade it out for Mr. Silk. Against the rock tree. And if we water pulse it, we should get a fair amount of damage out of it. Like I said, rock slide, it's gonna hurt. It hurts a lot. Come on, Mr. So critical. Not critical, but it's definitely super effective, and we'll take it. Level 32 for Mr. Soak. Grub is 27. Your moves are beautiful. Oh my, I'm completely fascinated by them. So creepy looking. See, look how creepy he is. It looks like we've got a... They are, they are, they are, they are carvings of the Pokemon Diglett. They are easy to carve due to its, due to its simple design, which is why I'm explaining why it's so stinking big. 